Okay, uh, my next question is, um, when and how did you first get exposed to hip-hop? Was it something you seen on TV? Was it something you heard playing in your house on the radio? Or was it something that you seen just right outside, you know, in your own community? See, unlike you young bucks that got introduced to it by the internet. <laughs> <laughs> See, back in the days when I was coming up, now remember, y'all want to talk about, I, yo, I was lacing sandals with Jesus back then. This mm. was that time in hip-hop when hip-hop was just becoming. So before my era, all we had, my era, all we had was the records that our mothers played on Sunday. We didn't have our own genre of music. There was none. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like you either listen to your mother's music and then along came hip hop. That was the youth music. And so all of a sudden it was in the parks before it even got the records. The people you would see extension cords, people bringing extension cords so it could reach from the first floor window all the way to the river park and they'd have yeah. park jams. You know what I'm saying? That's the era I come from, where it's like the beginning. So I was just exposed to it. It was my music. That was it. It was now. It was, it was set of hip hop. You hip it, the hip it, hip it, hip, hip hop. You don't stop. The first record played on the radio, I was in that era. Mm. But before that, there was the Grandmaster Flashes, the Grandmaster Casas, the, you know what I'm saying? The Furious Fool. The Fearless Four, Furious Fives, and they used to come to the Reese Center in Queensbridge. You would hear this, and I got exposed to the original Bronx hip hop, where it originated through them coming to the Reese Center, which was outside the back of my window. So when it came to hip hop, I had a blueprint already because I witnessed it, even if I wasn't from uptown or the Bronx. Oh, man. I know them park jams had to be phenomenal, man. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Truly appreciate that. Now, my next question is, when did you start to get involved? What inspired you and when did you say, I'm I'm going to participate in this now? All right. When Roxanne Shante made that, Roxanne, Roxanne, <laughs> when she did that. Now, before that, we used to just rhyme on the benches. We had a little rhyme crew, me, Infinite, Jazzy Ra, R. Kim, and we used to, and Shantae and myself, we used to rhyme all day off the top of our heads, honing our skills. 